Hello everyone, it's Davy again. What a brilliant day! Today is really sunny. Look, I have already put my sun lotion here. Today we are going to visit this beautiful place, which is about like six kilometers to the northwestern part of Beijing. A very well-known place. You can see this Daoman Throne Pagoda, and this is also nicknamed as a Beijing Stone Carving Museum. That includes the stilas, tablets. Buddha statues and a lot of very interesting statues related to different time period in China's Yuan and Ming and Qing dynasty. Cannot wait, right? Let's go and take a look. Well, walking around the whole area here, I'm so much impressed by all these Buddha statues. As a matter of fact, there are more than 1,000 Buddha statues. Look at how great and peaceful their looks are, and、uh, the whole area is made of bricks and stones without even a piece of wooden nuts. You must have the question. Well, the Chinese are very good at making the wooden structures, but how come this area has no wooden sectors? As a matter of fact, this concept of Daoman Throne Pagoda. Is introduced from India, and 550 years ago, when the Chinese emperor built the whole place, which tried to introduce every single thing from India. But let's take a look at the detail part. We have some beautiful Chinese patterns and auspicious item-looking things. The eaves and tile ends; these are exactly same as the wooden construction. I cannot help saying. This is really a great combination architectural thing. 50% from India and 50% concept from China. What a great combination it is! This is one of the statues of the warriors. As you know, when people die, especially emperor or the rich officials, they really want their tombs well guarded by people. So they just believe that those warriors and the soldiers. In their realistic life, protect the emperors and the rich merchants and the officials. When they die, they should have the same warriors. How do I look? The western part of the whole complex is a great forest of the stone carving tablets. Look at the huge turtle here, carrying this almost like a six meter tall stone. Tablet, and、uh, in Chinese legend, we believe that the dragon is really an auspicious animal, and dragon has nine sons. This is first son, great turtle. So you can see when you travel in China, in the temples, in the mausoleums, and some of the relics area, you can always see the huge turtle carrying this tablet. In the other area of This stone tablets. I just discovered something a little bit different. Look at this. Then I just found that this is a special collection of the stone tablets, cemetery tablets of the missionaries in Ming and Qing dynasties. As you know, that、uh, Pietro Ricci, he's Italian, and he first came to China. As a missionary in the end of the Ming Dynasty, around the 1620s, and he died here, and we just buried him here. And he was considered as one of the first groups of the missionaries who came to China just to have this great religion well spread in this beautiful country in the East. And after him, hundred thousands of the missionaries from Europe. Just came to Beijing. They probably did not really expect they would be buried here in China. Wow! But when I just read all these、uh, tablet words, I was so much impressed. And they are really a great bridge between China and the Western world. To my left-hand side here is the history of、uh, 200 years ago. Behind me. This great Daoman Throne Pagoda is about 550 years old, and today, 
the current time, I am writing our history. I do hope, my dear friends, those of you who watch our this video, you will just have your interest in coming and visit Beijing, and let's write our history together now. I'm David. I'm here waiting for you. See you next time.